Okay. Hello, uh, my name is Nelson Beam. Uh, I'm, I'm part of a second generation farm here. My father bought this in, in the early 50s and, you know, continued to expand the acreage. We, we farm about a total of 650 acres. Our livestock consists of a uh, one-time capacity of 320 to 350 head of cattle, uh, finishing a total of around 800 per year. On the hog side of things, we have about 215 sows, farrow to finish, marketing about 4,500 head of finished hogs per year, in addition to a few feeder pigs. Okay, what are the benefits of feeding beef in your operation? Uh, the, the most valuable aspect of a beef animal is to be able to utilize a variety of uh, potential feed products to turn those products into protein. That enables them to use like corn silage and with their rumen uh, digestive system they're able to uh, break down some lower quality uh, grains such as corn that maybe has just a touch of mold on it. Also able to use byproducts that are pretty high in uh, water such as brewer's grain, uh, corn silage and some other things. So therefore they're able to turn you know some some products that would not be able to be utilized directly into the human food chain uh, directly or indirectly through like a monogastric uh, digestive system such as the hogs or chickens. Okay, what are some challenges of feeding beef? Always the challenge of, of any type of thing, you know, particularly on the beef side, is to be able to maintain a positive margin. Uh, the, the, the positive margin is uh, somewhat determined on uh, the, the feeder uh, cattle price and also the, the finish price, but probably more important than that, it's also determined on the cost of gain. And that cost of gain, uh, the person really needs to be um, creative in uh, securing and developing uh, different feedstuffs that, that would, wouldn't be able to be utilized uh, by, by other animals and therefore able to be bought in relatively cheap and uh, utilized by the cattle. Okay, what is your marketing plan for these beef cattle? I try to, whenever I get an opportunity to lock in a positive margin, I try to take advantage of that. Uh, and really the only option to, or only way to do that is through the futures. And I use uh, JBS who uh, they, they are able to uh, lock in in a certain month delivery using the futures. And if, if I can lock in, you know, like I say, a, a decent positive margin, I take advantage of that. Plus, plus you know, I, I do, uh, when the basis is high, I, I will uh, send some to, the, to either a stockyard or maybe just send them on a cash cash market basis to uh, take advantage of those options also. Okay, what other marketing options are available for feeder cattle? Uh, well, we have finished cattle here. Uh, we, we sell, you know, market steers, but uh, the other options would be to uh, sell, those pro sell those animals direct or maybe break them down into quarters, halves, etc. I, I guess uh, for, from my per perspective, we need to have a certain uh, base, a certain number in order to be able to secure feedstuffs and trailer load lots and that requires you know, quite a few head. Uh, we do not have the time, energy to uh, put forth in uh, selling halves, quarters, etc. to individuals so therefore uh, that's why we market them in trailer load lots in that way. Thank you. Yep.